Hello everyone, I am back. I finally have a new review for you. I've been busy. Uh, I've gotten some novels read, just don't have time to do reviews for all of them. And I've been doing videos for other people as well. But today I have a little review for you. It is City of Beasts by Corey Wang. And let's just start this cover. I love it. I love the stark contrast between the purples and the red to the white. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, this is a dystopian novel. It is set in the far future um, after like, I think it said like World War III and a nuclear fallout type of like thing. Um, the radiation has rendered most of the population sterile and for, you know, for this book, we have a setting where the fees and the males have separated themselves for certain reasons I don't want to spoil in the book, but they've separated themselves and we follow our main character, Glory, who is a fee, and she has to set off on this little adventure journey because she's got to find, okay, maybe one spoiler I'll say is she's got to go save and rescue or find her little brother. So she sets off into the city of beasts to find her brother and along the way she meets some quite colorful characters who I absolutely love. Uh, just got a shout out to the character of Kama because I just love him and um, she meets a really you know her close friends well, she meets him and becomes close friends with him. His name is Sway and they help her go from one place to another to figure out where her little brother is being kept. Like. You know, he's a little boy in this post-apocalyptic, you know, setting where there aren't really supposed to be any children. So it's like a rare find. And so people are trying to protect him and some other people are trying to like, you know, you know possibly sell him on the black market. So she's got to find him. Anyway, she goes along her travels and she uncovers these weird like treaties and, you know, the fortress where people are being kept and people that she knew and trusted she feels like they that she's been betrayed by them and she uncovers all of these secret hidden um you know truths that were being kept from almost everyone and then she has to like fight her way back home and then realizes she's not sure where home is at but yeah read the story, find out what her whole, her journey is. It's so great. And, um, but yeah, dystopian novel. It was a little hard for me to understand at first with some of like the terminology, but after a couple chapters, I was like, okay, okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. But it was so great. The characters are so colorful and it really made me wonder because, you know, switching between the different pronouns and it was, it was just so great because you learned like how a person in the future might see something um, like through their eyes, like that's normal to us. It's like, oh, you know, that's just normal. That's something we easily know we use every day, but someone who's never seen it or experienced it in the future, like how they would react to it or, you know, they wouldn't even know what to call it. It was, it was really neat looking at a perspective that way. So if you haven't read this book, it's really, really awesome. It is, I, I love dystopian. It's sci-fi fantasy, you know, totally my thing. But yeah, I would give this book a whirl. I believe right now it is a standalone. I'm so happy. I've been wanting some standalones because the series can be a bit much because I want the whole series right then and there. I don't want to be waiting for the next book. I'm so impatient. But standalone novel, if you're like really into this dystopian types, this is a great read. So that's my quick little review there. It's awesome. Um, definitely keeping in my library. So, all right then. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again pretty soon. I hope. <laughs>